Good morning, Coach Slack here once again, continuing our readings on the Synaxadian, the lives of the saints of the Orthodox Church. On this, the 25th day of September, we celebrate the memory of our Holy Mother Ephrosine, daughter of Papnudius the Egyptian. Saint Ephrosine lived in Egypt during the reign of Theodosius II from 408 to 450. Her father, Papnudius, was immensely rich, and she was the only child left to him after the death of his wife. On her wedding day, unknown to her father, Ephrosine cut her hair, put on male attire, and left home for a monastery where she was accepted as the eunuch Smaragdus, Smaragdus, fervently desiring to unite herself to Christ. She gave herself so entirely to every ascetic contest that, after a while, no one would have guessed that a delicate young woman owned that emaciated countenance and dried up form. She shone in this manner for 38 years like a precious stone in the midst of the monastery, which is an image of the heavenly Jerusalem. She obediently and humbly served an elder, but the devil was furious to see a maiden resisting his every onslaught and even overcoming the weakness of her nature. He provoked some monks to become jealous of her godly conversation and made the beauty and charm of her character that ascetic labors could not entirely conceal a stumbling block to others. On this account, she withdrew to a lonely cell, never going forth but reaching out towards God with her whole being, each day placing ascensions of her mind within her heart. At the end of 38 years, she fell ill. Among all those drawn to her bedside by the renown of her holiness was Papnudius, who had never got over the loss of his daughter. God let Ephrosine know that the time of her departure to the eternal habitations was at hand. So she told her father who she really was to console him in his declining years. She enjoined him to give the monastery the inheritance he had kept for her and to see to her burial. Thereupon she gave up her soul to God in great peace, but Paphnudius, thunderstruck, fell senseless to the ground. When he came to himself, he realized that it is a sin to bewail those who, leaving this life of sorrows, have won everlasting life, and his tears were changed into joy. He gave up everything that held him to the world, and he too put on the monastic habit, so as to follow in his daughter's footsteps and meet her again in the joy of the elect. He took up his abode in her former cell, where, after living righteously and pleasing God for ten years, he in his turn fell asleep in peace. Yes, there was a icon during the reading from the monology of Basil II uh, from the 11th century. Through the prayers of thy saints, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Amen.